nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. Pitching down range. Take one chamber pressure's nominal. T plus 40 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the Turksat 5B satellite to geosynchronous transfer orbit. We've throttled down in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Good views from the SpaceX ground cameras following the first day. Okay, it's supersonic. We've gone supersonic. The Merlin engines are back up to full power. Max Q. And we're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Everything continues to look good. Trajectory is nominal. Avionics report systems are nominal. One hundred seconds into flight coming up in just under a minute. We're going to have main engine cutoff where we shut off the nine Merlin 1D engines. We'll separate the stages. And then the second stage engine will ignite at about the two minute and 44 second mark. MVAC is chilling in. The MVAC D engine chill in call out. We've begun putting a little bit of liquid oxygen through the turbo pump to get it cold in preparation for second stage ignition. That's coming up in just about 34 seconds from now. First stage is coming up on 4G's acceleration and we're gonna begin throttling down to hold 4G's. Getting ready for main engine cutoff. First stage engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. We've got successful stage separation. The second stage now under power of the single Merlin vacuum engine. We'll be coming up on fairing deploy in a little under 30 seconds. Views of the titanium grid fins beginning to deploy on the left as we see the lights of Florida in the background as we head east, due east from the Cape into our transfer orbit parking orbit. We're getting ready for the camera on second stage to switch forward to look at the spacecraft and the payload fairing for fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you see the two fairing halves have separated, falling away from the vehicle. We're now exposing the Turksat 5B satellite to outer space. As a reminder, we will be attempting to retrieve these two fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel, Bob. Now, as mentioned previously, these two fairing halves supported the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 5 mission in June of this year. But right now, we're at T plus four minutes and counting. Everything continues to go well for the Falcon 9 mission, carrying Turksat 5B into the parking orbit.